welcome back to Nanny Jen's Storytime Couch. It's been a few weeks and I'm so excited to be back on the couch with all of my friends. Thank you for coming over. Today we are going to read Harry the Dirty Dog by Jean Zion. It's a very cute story about a little dog who loves to get dirty and he gets so dirty that his family doesn't know who he is. Uh, before we get started, I want to say a special hello to my friend Alex in Revere. Hi, Alex. Thanks for watching. And let's find out what happens to Harry the Dirty Dog. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except getting a bath. So one day when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush and buried it in the backyard. Then he ran away from home. He played where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. He played tag with other dogs and became dirtier still. He slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought that he really had run away. He felt tired and hungry too, so without stopping on the way, he ran back home. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. One of the family looked out and said, There's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Harry? When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them that he was Harry. He started to do all his old clever tricks. He flip-flopped, he flop-flipped, and he rolled over and played dead. He danced and he sang. He did these tricks over and over again, but everyone shook their head and said, Oh no, it couldn't be Harry. Harry gave up and walked slowly toward the gate, but suddenly he stopped. He ran to a corner of the garden and started to dig furiously. Soon he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy barks. He'd found the scrubbing brush, and carrying it in his mouth, he ran into the house. Up the stairs he dashed, with the family following close behind. He jumped into the bathtub and sat up begging, with the scrubbing brush in his mouth, a trick he certainly had never done before. This little doggy wants a bath, cried the little girl, and her father said, why don't you and your brother give him one? Harry's bath was the soapiest he'd ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy, Daddy, look, look, come quick! It's Harry, it's Harry, it's Harry, they cried. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly, and he became once again the white dog with black spots. It was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly, he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush he'd hidden under his pillow. That was so cute. I love it. What a sweet little dog. Sleeping on his pillow, happy to be scrubbed clean after a fun day of adventure. Don't you love getting dirty? I do. I really do. I love to be covered in mud from a fun day of playing outside. And then the best part is when you get to come home and take a nice bath and scrub all the dirt off. 
just like Harry at the end. Even though he doesn't always like it, I know that I do. A, a good bubble bath is the best way to end a day, in my opinion. Don't you think? Well, thanks again for coming over. I had so much fun, as always, and I hope that you did too. And I have a couple of other books coming up, so stay tuned. Thanks again, everybody. Please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. If you have a book that you love, that you would love me to read, I would love to see that. So let me know, all right? Thanks so much, guys. Bye.